Who murdered William Desmond Taylor, a renowned Irish director in the golden era of Hollywood? This question has baffled investigators and true crime enthusiasts alike for over a century. Taylor was a prominent figure in the budding Hollywood film industry, casting his creative spell on the silver screen with unmatched skill. He had a knack for storytelling that transcended the ordinary, making him a celebrated director of his time. But beneath the glitz and glamour of Hollywood, Taylor's life was not without its share of drama. His close association with comic actress Mabel Normand and former child star Mary Miles Minter stirred quite the controversy. And then, in a shocking turn of events, Taylor was found shot dead in his Los Angeles bungalow, a crime scene that seemed straight out of one of his movies. The plot thickened when the women in his life were suspected of his murder. Despite numerous suspects, the true identity of Taylor's murderer remains a mystery. Who stood to gain from Taylor's death? Who had motive, means and opportunity? Let's start with Mabel Normand, the comic actress who was more than just a colleague to Taylor. Their relationship was a whirlwind of passion and chaos, peppered with Norman's well-documented struggles with substance abuse. Could she have shot Taylor in a drug-induced frenzy? It's entirely possible. Norman had access to Taylor, she knew the layout of his bungalow, and her erratic behavior could certainly suggest a motive, yet the lack of physical evidence linking her to the crime scene left investigators scratching their heads. Then there was Mary Miles Minter, the former child star seemingly infatuated with Taylor, her obsession was so intense that it bordered on stalking. Could unrequited love have driven her to commit murder? Or perhaps it wasn't Minter herself, but her overbearing mother, seeking to protect her daughter from a man she deemed unsuitable. Both women were reportedly near Taylor's home on the night of the murder, putting them squarely in the frame. However, again, the tangible proof tying either woman to the crime was conspicuously absent. Finally, we have Henry Peavy, Taylor's cook and valet. Peavy was a constant presence in Taylor's life, which naturally made him a person of interest. Yet he was also a man plagued with his own demons. Nine years after Taylor's death, Peavy died in an asylum, his mind ravaged by syphilis-induced dementia. Could a man in such a state have orchestrated and carried out a murder? It's a question that continues to baffle investigators. Each of these individuals had their reasons to want Taylor out of the picture. Each of them had the means and the opportunity to end his life. Yet, with no concrete evidence tying any of them to the crime scene, the case remained maddeningly unsolved. Each suspect had reasons to want Taylor out of the picture, but the lack of concrete evidence left the case unsolved. Why, after all these years, does the mystery of William Desmond Taylor's murder persist, you might wonder? Theories abound, each more tantalizing and puzzling than the last. Yet none have brought us any closer to a definitive answer. The lack of concrete evidence, the plethora of suspects, and the cloud of secrecy that shrouded Hollywood's golden era have all contributed to this enduring enigma. Many believe that Taylor's murder was a direct result of his intimate relationships. Was it Mabel Norman, the comic actress with a known drug problem, acting out in a drug-induced rage? Or perhaps it was Mary Miles Minter, the obsessed former child star, or even her mother? both conveniently near his home at the time of his death. Then there's the theory involving Taylor's cook and valet, Henry Peavy, a suspect who later died in an asylum from syphilis-induced dementia. Could he have been the perpetrator, his guilt driving him to the brink of madness? The public's fascination with this case was, and continues to be, insatiable. Taylor's murder wasn't just a crime, it was a scandal that shook the very foundations of Hollywood tainting its glimmering facade with a dark and sinister reality. It was a stark reminder that beneath the glamour and the glitz, Hollywood was as susceptible to the grim realities of life as any other place. The implications of the case were far-reaching. Lives were ruined, careers were ended, and reputations were tarnished. The golden era of Hollywood was forever marred by this unsolved crime. The shadow of suspicion loomed large over the lives of the suspects, their every move scrutinized, their every word dissected. The murder of William Desmond Taylor had a profound impact, its ripples felt even today. Despite the countless theories and investigations, the mystery of William Desmond Taylor's murder remains one of Hollywood's most enduring unsolved crimes. It's a chilling testament to the fact that sometimes truth can be stranger and more elusive than fiction.